Good morning guys and welcome to the channel. So today we're going to be talking about my Cura profiles, the one I use for my Ender 3. Um, and I got them all in a Google Drive so you guys can download it, import it, I'll go through every step you need to do. Um, I'll do a tutorial in this tutorial on how to import Cura profiles. I've had a lot of luck with them. I've printed tons of things. Um, wait a minute, one moment and I'll show you what I got. All right, so um, I use my medium profile to print this guy. Um, if you don't know what this is, I don't know how the camera's putting this up. So um, if the camera isn't doing a good job and showing this off, I'll do a picture of it. But this is a uh, handle for a Zelda Master Sword. This is a um, part that will actually be for my Nintendo Switch. It, it, the blade holds Nintendo Switch games. Um, if you're interested in this, I will have a link to where you can get this from. I got it from Thingiverse. But I printed this in my medium profile. Um, and I got another profile called Minis. They are small. And it's this guy. He looks, I, I don't, again, I don't know how this is picking up on camera. It's not picking up very well. I'll show a picture of it. But uh, these came out very great. This is like 28 millimeters. I have some 38 millimeters as well. But um, with the Ender 3, you can do just about anything. So uh, without further ado, let's uh, take a look at my computer. See you in a moment. All right, guys, welcome to my computer. So uh, what we have right now is Cura here. I have my profiles. Um, these are my four profiles. This is my experimental profile. I haven't done much with this one, but this is one you can play around with, test it out, see if you like it. I um, I did tr do a few test prints, and they came out pretty, pretty well. Um, I have a small profile, a mini our terrain and a large. I haven't renamed these, but they'll be named appropriately in my Google Drive. But um, let's talk about my profiles a little bit and how you can import this. So once you open up Kira, you'll see your printer if you set this up before. If you haven't set this up, check out my, um, my tutorial on that. I'll have a link above. So you'll have your default profiles and how you can import new profiles or the profiles you, you download from me. You'll go to Manage Profiles, Import, navigate to your downloads folder or wherever you downloaded these guys to click it click open and then it'll be listed down here and guys before we go too far into this i want to tell you where i got these from if you come up here and pull up uh, 3d tabletop so i actually got these from his website they came from sci-fi i want to give the original creator of these profiles credit i didn't create these i did modify them to work for me um but that's where i got these from again that is uh, a link i'll have below but um with my settings I have modified them and I, if, if you're using an Ender 3 I'd recommend you match my settings. I'm going to go over what has changed or what's different. When you import these settings there'll be a few things that you need to modify and um, let me tell you about my printer before we go any further. If your printer matches this then you can match what I got. So my printer has a so my printer has an all metal hot end. It has an upgraded extruder. It has a Capricorn tube and a glass bed also has a cooler for the nozzle it's a 3d printed attachment there's not many upgrades I've done to this printer and it's already given amazing quality but if the most important out of all these upgrades is the glass bed if you have a glass bed and um, you have a couple ways to make prints adhere to the glass uh, one way is to do glue I don't use any glue on mine I, I, I did that on the mono price um, but what I would recommend is you actually bump up your, your hot bed temperature. I have mine set to 75 degrees and I have no issue with prints adhering to the glass bed. So let's go over my uh, settings real quick and talk about that. So um, most of these will be the same. I'm just going to scroll through what will be the same and tell you what's different. Uh, in field, that's totally, totally your discretion. I am go I'm going to have mine on a uh, 20. Scrolling on down, I did. These are the changes that I did make. My default printing temperature is 205. Uh, looking at my default build temperature is 75. So I would match these settings. Some of these will be automated, such as this setting, this setting, and this setting. So uh, if you put 205, this should populate um, within these right here. If you put 75 degrees, these should also populate. So I'm um, going on down. So for retraction speed, that will be default with this uh, profile. That'll be already in place. This will also be already in place. So moving on down to what's different. 
Now supports, this is totally your discretion, but I've been using tree supports with the, within the experimental, and I've had a great deal of luck with that. I, I love it. I, I wouldn't go back to any other supports. The way it comes off the print, and you should know what I mean. I mean, you saw that handle a moment ago. It's very clean. I didn't do, I haven't done any cleanup on that guy. There are a few places I need to touch up, but um, for the most part, it is a very clean print. So going on down, you'll see experimental. So all I did was ch check this box. All this is automatically populated. So um, also, you want to make sure you have a brim on this, especially if you're using a glass bed. That will help ensure that there's no uh, warping of the print and no uh, lifting of the print. Sometimes it still will happen, but it's very rare for it to be on a brim if you follow these other settings for it to actually start lifting or warping. And this follows true to my other my other settings as well. For example, on my terrain setting or my medium setting, I have brim, I have a chet, my print settings are in place. If we go up here, 205, 75, same settings. So um, let's talk about what you need to change. You want to go down, change your print temperature, and also your bed temperature. And then you want to match mine, which I went, already, I've already went through. You then want to make sure you have brim checked under build plate adhesion. Make sure that's at the brim. I didn't change any of these other settings. And then if you want to be a little experimental with me, check tree supports. I've done this through all of my profiles and every single profile I've used since doing that has been immaculate. My prints look amazing. So I'd recommend you change that as well. Um, let's talk about if you don't have these settings. So every time I install Cura or upgrade Cura, there's one thing I always check and I check to make sure I have everything listed. So what I do, so if you've been looking, looking around and you don't have some of the settings, click the three bars and click show all settings. And it's, it, tells, it says custom selection for me because I've already showed all settings and that's what it puts it at. So again, if I, going through that again, if you don't have all the settings, click show all settings, they'll be listed there below. So um, that is a quick tutorial on my profiles. Uh, you, many of you have seen the prints and the print quality. If you really haven't seen that and you want to see mine, check out my Instagram. I highly recommend you guys to go and follow me. I post on there regularly. I have tons of prints on there. Also, uh, my dad has an Alpha YSU 20 and he is currently outdoing me with these prints. And if you want to check out that, you can hop on my Instagram. I have uh, pictures really high quality prints that he's doing and he's painted and they look amazing so again i'll have my instagram below please go check that out please follow me um also follow me on any other social media twitter and uh, so forth but guys that's uh the quick and dirty profile video um, i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you guys have a great day for me so far starting out well it's 5 58 in the morning um I am actually enjoying this new recording schedule. I can finally record with these lights. And uh, yeah, guys, well, that is it. Thanks for, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Again, my download link for these profiles will be below. Um, if you download these profiles, you'll get excellent, excellent, excellent prints. Especially if you have the Ender 3. Um, it works for other printers as well, but the Ender 3 is what I've tuned mine to. But that's it guys. That's all I wanted to talk to you guys about today. Hope you guys have a great day. Goodbye.